when you talk about uh, to have talks on those events uh, and talks about Triton and stuff like that? To Which kind of um, talk do you envision, for example, in first step? Because yeah, if you go to a push dev and you want to learn about a Postgres, of course, they did it wrong, the room was so small you could not see the Postgres docs, but you want to know about what is going on in Postgres, you learn, uh, this is, people do talks over what it is, this is how we use it in our business, these are the features that are coming out, and they do X, Y, and Z, and somebody in the audience say, hey, our business needs X, Y, and Z, and we happen to do it for a database, as an example. So you go and you say, this is what type of is, this is what it does, this is how uh, business A uses it, this is how the health uses it. Like the talks here, but for a broader technical or and or business audience, every company different, but like this where people are introduced to it and are shown what it can do, <coughs> and maybe what it can't do, and maybe what is in the pipeline. Yes, but I, I have the impression every time I go to force them that the... Maybe not force them, but the technical conferences where technical people come to find out what is going on, what is new, what can help their company. Maybe what you, you were by or something like that. Example, yes. Why not? Elasticsearch was there. Hmm? Elasticsearch was at your own pipeline. Huh? People who had never heard of Elasticsearch got to see a couple of talks, but oh wow, hey, it can do our whole tech search problems and it can double as a database, so that can store database. Who knew? But mm -hmm. we heard nothing about Python. Mm -hmm. Europython 2010 had a job on Python. Uh, yeah. uh, Europe but I was there last year, I didn't see any Python, but I mean, there were two Europython 2010. 2010. Yeah. 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 I think that maybe, I don't know if, if everyone will agree with me, but for example, the startup world is starting to, to boil, in my opinion, and if, and if you want to, to get developers to come into Triton, I came into, into Triton because I think that the, the most complex part about uh, growing a startup, it's the uh, enterprise level part of the startup, not the technical one. Because I could use, uh, for example, Django for developing my, my product. But when you arrive to the level where you start needing the enterprise application, you get a start because uh, you really need to, to, to write it from scratch. And uh, after seeing today's presentation about Narrate, for example, and uh, I think that Narrate was the part of the, of the, of the things that made me take the decision to come to Triton, I think can be and has the, a full potential to really become a startup framework or an ideal framework for startups. And I think you have a great uh, niche there to get developers into Triton. I know they want to be mainly really focused in the, <coughs> in the enterprise part of Triton, but maybe maybe more focused in the narrate or uh, the web services or whatever part. But in any way, you are getting developers into the platform. And I think that may be good if you can later on coordinate them and, and that kind of stuff, you maybe can make Triton grow. Okay. And the startups also have to really focus on scalability. And I think that it can be a good thing to really get people from that kind of enterprises that really will focus in scalability and making huge things. They have to plan for huge things. If you don't plan <coughs> startup for making something huge that you're going to have a, a giant cluster of servers or whatever, uh, you're done. Because as soon as you start fundraising and, and trying to grow, you're, you're going to start if you haven't planned for that. And I think it's positive for, for that framework. I think Triton has the potential to be a great framework for startups. And I think you have a, a really good niche there to, to get developers here. There is a question, I think, from here. It sounds like a second uh, Triton icon for a year. So um, maybe you could, uh, when, when we have another, uh, another, uh, another date when uh, where we uh, 
uh, get present, uh, then uh, we can put one date uh, for developing uh, stuff, for introducing new persons uh, in development, right? And the other uh, date could be um, more um, yeah, I don't know if it's business and business users, but the more users are trying. Because showcases, showing what you are doing uh, with Pride and what, what is possible. Um, so maybe um, it's uh, the question of color and everything, which is the black, uh, black, uh, black um, um, screen uh, with green uh, letters comes to the developed stuff and everything which is so fancy and nice uh, comes to the other. Yes, uh, because it's a yeah, liberation of the topic. That might be a good idea, but um, it looks like you want to split this room in two. And no, okay. offer, offer no. to the people no, but to the one, but focus, uh, maybe the focus is more specific. I think it has void because some people have come here from Barcelona or the surroundings, but they didn't know uh, what were they were going to see. Mm -hmm. uh, that could be solved by, by planning the schedule before, but the problem is that uh, if we mix topics, uh, we still would be they, they're tired. And probably some people already told us that they were from the business side and they didn't understand how of the food we explained. So I think yeah, it and has a point. Or the opposite. Yeah, some, maybe some, the opposite. Some people come from the development side <laughs> to, to, to understand what the most people say. <laughs> <laughs> it's not usually the case, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I, I think it, it, has a, it has a point. Yeah, we, could, we could first start by splitting the two whatever in two. <laughs> two. Yeah, the first day would be... Two, two. Two, two. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Uh, the first day would be more business friendly or the day, whatever. And then the it would be a conference. <laughs> but it <laughs> wouldn't be a conference. <laughs> 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 no? Oh, and two and two and two <laughs> Maybe it would be nice uh, having some uh, yes, uh, speeches for general introductions to try it. And if someone is close to a um, location or is uh, meant to be close to them or somewhere else, you can take a speech and. Anyway, we have some uh, bigger uh, posters, uh, some, 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 some of this stuff that you show there, but uh, concentrate uh, with uh, concentrating uh, with the uh, uh, talks and so on on, on, the, on, the, on uh, this uh, right now conference. I don't know. I'm making some posters for them and uh, Oscon or whatever. What the pearl does, they have people focus on what they call marketing. Mm -hmm. It's how do we best show what we're doing right now. Quick glances, somebody's going, that's what that's on the moment. Yeah. Oh, I don't think so. Stop. Really quick. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Maybe. Okay. But uh, putting Triton on one poster uh, is difficult, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A thousand pixels wide at least. Yeah, for that we should concentrate on what are the, the main strengths. The strengths of Triton and yeah, yeah, yeah. and making something uh, fancy to catch the eye. The only people that really knows about outreach, you know, like someone that say, hey, you know what, I don't like to develop, but I really like the project and I want to dedicate my staff. I study marketing or whatever and she or he does that. But having that outreach department I think is very important. Yes. The SSF has it most that's probably what we are lacking. It's like documentation. A lot of projects have people that are not they're technical enough but they open just do it. things like that. Mm -hmm. documentation. The question is if we have that uh, profile of user or here. I mean, well, I certainly didn't was born without that thing, <laughs> but I could posit if someone boom or probably not here because it's very technical, but you can probably put it on the IRC channels or something, say, you know, looking for somebody that does the outreach.
well, startups always have a marketing department, but maybe willing to help. I have people in marketing now, for example. And are you willing to help? I don't no, know. Are they? He's here. <laughs> but I'm not sure if he, if he can help. Well, right now, we are somehow with really, uh, we just pivoted our model and, and, uh, and it wasn't just. Yeah. You, want to you have the question. question. Yeah, <coughs> Sarah, I'm in, I'm in the target audience. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a Triton user, um, and really, when I look at Triton, I see a um, quite an isolated, remote technology stack. I think if you're serious about um, about outreach, you should instead of doing outreach, you should do Django. No, that's where that's where the people are. Um, oh, you know, Postgres, uh, but you already work with Postgres as a technology. Yeah. But if you're serious, you have to go out to the people. You know, it, it is a beautiful, a, a beautiful stack. I mean, it's, it's it's wonderful, and you're grown at a huge rate. Um, but you know, when I'm in my office, I'm going to see these guys standing far stone. What, what are they? Are they Python developers? Great. What do they do? And, and try them. What's that? And it's a it's a fork of Open ERP, and um, and then it's down onto GTK, and it's it's getting further and further from the mainstream. And um, I think that you need to, you know, at least have a story that, that brings in the Django developers, um, which is where people are. You know, I, I spent maybe three years working with Plone, and we just got more and more remote. From the from the, the mainstream of development, we were at the core of it one day, and you know suddenly the the, the main road had moved somewhere else, and um, so I'm down in Django, obviously. Because people fled, so yeah, <laughs> but yes. it, it just it, we we were building more and more beautiful things in a more and more isolated environment, talking more and more to ourselves, um, when people were somewhere else and moving somewhere else and and solving different problems, solving new problems. Um, I think the new health thing is really interesting in that um, try to provide a, a, a fantastic platform underneath a web uh, a web structure. You know, in, in my office, the guys on the top floor are doing a thing with OpenERP as the bottom layer of something that the customers will never see, uh, that the, the business people will see, but the website users will never see. Um, and they're using OpenERP to get a, a good business stack in there. Um, but it's complicated for them. It's, it's, it's remote. It's, it's away from any tools or technologies that there are, or any technologies they're used to using. <coughs> um, so I just think that if you're, if you're really serious about outreach, you have to go a bit. Don't be going out there and trying to pull people to you. You have to go out there to where they are. My tokens work. <laughs> but find the technologies you already interface with and um, somehow work together with them. If you're working with, for example, a jQuery or a SAP, jQuery itself is a community with all sorts of different kinds of users. If you guys are already using that, so I mean, okay, you guys are using Django, so maybe that's something, but you are working with lots of, you work with Flash, you work with, mm -hmm. you know, and they all have communities, and some of them are bigger than others. But Jingle sort of JavaScript, for now, it's the popular thing now. But the example is the integration with the other communities, but the two are stuff. Isn't Flask the new Django, and Django's a new tool? Possibly, possibly. We could just wait for that river to move around again. Sometimes it gives you a, a false idea of really. Today, when we got out of the hotel, they had the SAP, and the SAP, they, <coughs> did, they were not using the Java client, they were not using the web client, they were using the own C written client, and SAP is being the first ERP in the world. So I think that we have to be careful with saying, because this is the hype, we have to go that way. I love the GTK. Personally, I think that 
if that's what you have to do, probably it's actually personal phrase, but it, it does work very well. And I think that it's a good idea to have a, a web client, but some other things that are, that are not mentioned that went that way, and I think that it does. Um, GTK is, is a very good way of coding and, and, and putting what you want to see in the way that you want to see it. And I don't think that by going away from that, we are going to get better in, in publicity or, or audience. Um, as I said, SAP is still using the, the thing that they have been using for 20 years or more. Uh, and they've been doing very well in that sense. Uh, I think that by having that probably a CRM, something that can focus, you know, that give the outreach department specific target groups uh, and work on that basis, it will be, will be fantastic. And then, yes, I mean, having the, the Android today, the line, and the vision today, I think we need more marketing in that sense. <coughs> then, yeah, of course, there is room for, for optimization, but if we fall into the high, I think that we are in very terms, because that's what the rest of the people are doing, and they're not the rest of the people. No, but we can interface with them and expose yes. them to, uh, or like what he's doing with uh, small businesses, if this is, this is open source software, who would benefit libraries country, anything, sorry, this is a school, so anything, it could focus on uh, getting known in those areas, and Linux has done that very much, like, hey, uh, we can put in those in the uh, India, for example, leaders will mm -hmm. go in there, and mm -hmm. the country of Brazil mm -hmm. is using Microsoft, yeah, we we'll have some free windows, so that you say with windows, and they said, no, let's go to schools, or whatever, let's open to Linux, because we, because they, they, you know, can do that for us, mm -hmm. right, you can also do that, because mm -hmm. it's open software, Become a Triton supporter. You can um, just apply here uh, to become a Triton supporter. Um, we will uh, decide, I think, when we take home, it's uh, a user approach of processing and, and uh, um, when, uh, when we uh, have our meetings. Um, uh, the people ask if, uh, if they can be Triton uh, supporter, and we will decide you know, yes, because uh, it's good to support. It's <laughs> uh, nice to be an audience that's sitting here and we get a lady and everybody will touch you. Yes, so you think everybody is always <coughs> right Your name is engraved uh, in the internet. <laughs> 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 It depends if you make a donation or not. <laughs> <laughs> so just uh, send us an email if you like. Uh, it's, um, if you like to, to say I support Triton, then you can say it and uh, your name is written there. And you try to support it. <laughs> it is, it is uh, I think, actually it's really a part of the foundation. It's a uh, Belgian foundation law. You, you are uh, like a member in, uh, in association, but I think uh, there is not much responsibility, isn't it? No, there is no responsibility. Uh, yes, yes. In, in theory. They, they, uh, they, would they, they, they can call for a meeting yes. and they can uh, ask to change the work. Uh, oh, yes. 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 And I think they have to be present uh, or delegate their vote if there yeah, is a vote. Or but, yeah, but it's a way just to, to be able to clean the supporter list. If we see that someone really is gone and will never come back, so doesn't participate in Yeah. Personally, I think that the supporters are very important because uh, if we invest our time or our money or if we recommend uh, people <coughs> 
it means that we need uh, really to work in confidence. And we know that uh, all open source projects are at risk. I mean that a company or, or uh, someone outside can, uh, can use uh, that to, to its own profit. And uh, it would spoil all this investment uh, we can do. So uh, I'm surprised, but in fact not not so much, that uh, the fact that there is a foundation and this foundation is supported by credible people, people who have some authority in the in the domain and uh, know what it is about, uh, is so important for all the prospects and customers I, I get. Uh, in that, when when people are looking something in which they can uh, invest for a long time, it's a key element to know that uh, this project is uh, is protected. And to be sure that it is protected, the list of the supporters, people who feel uh, <coughs> responsible for this, uh, is very important. 